God sent me to teach you. Really? I'm here to help. You're not to teach me. I'm here to, I can help. It says very clearly in the King James, with that verse you just read, about all men. So does it mean that or not? All means what it means in context. Okay. So all the earth was taxed by Caesar. Well, you use it on this one, but you don't use it on the other verses. You're, <sighs> it says right there, all in man. Adam, all die. So also in Christ will all be made alive. Who's the one who are all who? Was it mean to be made alive in, in Christ? What does it mean? Well, obviously, that's why no prophecy of the scriptures of any private interpretation. <laughs> what does it mean? Everyone. Everyone can be saved. Is everyone. that what he says? Everyone can be saved? Yep. As long and as I believe. Anyone can be saved. This is where the Calvinists are loony. Anybody can be saved. Okay. God's not really good at anything. Oh, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a oh. second. Hold on a second. Anyone, anyone who calls upon the name, anyone, anyone who calls hey, upon the name sorry, of the Lord sorry, shall be sorry, saved. Full sorry. stuff. You're getting away from the simplicity of the gospel. Hang on. Guys, I'm, I'm guys, nine here guys, uh, guys, you're both okay. old enough to know not to insult. So don't be so insulting. I said, I said I've only got nine minutes to my next meeting. So is this, is this the point you wanted to make tonight? Is that the whole purpose of this call? Don't call me loony. I said, Cal that's why Calvin, well, okay, I said, the Calvinist doctrine is loony, and I think you believe some loony things. I don't know if you are, but I think this is ludicrous, but go ahead. It's not ludicrous because I'm reading the scriptures. You are the guys who are reinterpreting the scripture and adding words into what it says. Well, who taught this before Calvin came along for 1,600 years? Paul the Apostle. Paul did. He was said right there in Romans, uh, 1 Corinthians 15:22. Oh, that all were made alive. So everybody's yeah, going to heaven. Who's the all? Who are made alive in Christ? Are they unbelievers made alive in Christ? Where's the unbelievers and believers part in that verse? Well, I'm asking you the question so we can decide who the all are. Are unbelievers made alive in Christ? Yeah, but anybody can be a believer. Anybody so the people in hell, are they made alive in Christ? They could be. Not, not are they? they not, not could be. In hell, they can't be if they're in hell. I don't know about you. There's no second chance. The people who are damned. Right on the screen there. The the people, as in Adam, all die, so also in Christ, all will be made alive. Oh, so you're a universalist now, if all means every individual. That's what you're trying to teach out of that. I am not. You Are you a universalist? No, I'm not. Here, look at this. I'm going to show you something what Jesus said. You guys really don't know. Sorry, but you don't know uh, biblical theology. All right? You don't. Well, not well, the I, I think I, you do. I, you I don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Look, look what Jesus says. Look, John 6, 37. All that the Father gives me will come to me. Who's the all? Anyone. Anyone that the Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will certainly not cast out. So it means anyone. Why does he not say anyone? No, I'm, I'm still curious why you left the last verse you had there. That uh, Are you agreeing with me that no prophecy of the Scripture of any private? You have to look at all Scriptures together before you come up with a doctrine? Yes. You just jumped off that last one where it says, all we made alive. Yes. And are oh, you saying that? Do you believe the Bible or not? It says all of course I believe all. the Bible. All in are you are you saying the all is everybody ever lived? Because the only ones made alive in Christ are believers. You're the one by your logic saying everybody's going to end up being saved. No, that's why I'm simply using that to point out the inconsistency of your position. That that's the, your position. My position I, is right here. I never said everybody's saved. I said everybody can be. You said that some people can't be saved because God's already decided they can't be saved. That is exactly <laughs> correct. Yes. Why would it Jesus speak in parables? He says so they won't be saved. Could they have been saved? Jesus didn't want them saved. How can God be just if he's already determined a, a large percentage of the population just simply cannot be saved? They're going to hell. You don't That's understand. Cool. You have a different God than I do, Matt. Hey, now, now, look, Mr. Hovind, I have a lot of respect for you. I really do. I think you stood up for some good stuff. I would love to sit at your feet and learn about evolution and creation and some other things. I know a lot about that kind of stuff, but I could learn a great deal. But if you continue to insult me like this and saying I'm serving a false god, then we're going to have a serious problem. I've been polite with you. I've gone to scripture, and you're the one who's insulted me twice so far. Now, the Bible commands you in Colossians 4, 5, and 6 to be gentle in your answer, as it does in 1 Peter 3, 15. Now, I'm calling you on the carpet. I'm an ordained minister. I know what I'm doing, and you don't have any right to say that about me. 
You need to be more well, polite. I, no, I think I do. Uh, I think you're twisting some scriptures here. But it says, you, you look in the text and you tell me what you do with what Jesus himself said, why he speaks in parables, because he said it's so people will not be saved. Do you believe what Jesus said, both of you? I, I believe that has to tie in with all other scriptures. Just like if I, the only time I've ever heard you talk is for the last 45 or 50 minutes. I don't know that this is how you are all the time. I would have to take a much bigger sample of your life to really, you know, understand who the real Matt is. Um, and so, no, I think to take that verse, and there's so many other scriptures, Jesus died for all. I think the idea oh, that all go to heaven died for the elect is, is heresy. I don't That's believe right. it at all. Okay, it's not heresy. The Bible teaches. I've been reading the Bible 48 years, Matt. You waste the blood of Christ because you say he canceled the sin debt for everybody, but people go to hell for whose sin debt has been paid by Christ. You are and then he, accusing God of unrighteousness because he's canceled the sin debt through the blood of Christ, but you still have him go to hell for sin debt that doesn't exist anymore. You well, and your doctrine are accusing God of unrighteousness. Do you see how that works? Well, you're accusing God of being cruel and creating people specifically I, for hell. You, I believe God creates everybody, even the wicked, for the purpose of destruction. Wow. Well, um, I just quoted Proverbs 14. If, if this is, I, I just I, quoted. I just had one hour set aside for this, and the time is up. But if, if this is the whole purpose, is to discuss five point Calvinism one point at a time. I guess I'll get more prepared for one individual. Which point would you like to discuss next time? The total depravity or the limited atonement? Or limited, Let's do limited atonement. And I just quoted Proverbs 16, 4. God makes all things for, for uh, excuse me, God makes all things, even the wicked, for the day of destruction. Uh-huh. Yeah, I okay. quoted it to you. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that next time and give I, that in context yeah. with everything else. I quoted okay. it to you and you said, nope, you laughed at it. You said that was not true. My thing, so all things for his pleasure. Yeah, according to his, that's, that's exactly right. He makes us for his glory, Isaiah 43, 7. He does all things after the counsel of his will, um, Ephesians 1, 11. Okay, so a person like me who believes anybody can be saved, and God's not willing that any should perish, am I, um, am I going to heaven? If, if you trust in Christ, of course. I don't go and say you have a false God, even can though... They, 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 then anybody that anybody that believes in Christ can they get to heaven? Anybody who believes in Christ by default goes to heaven. Uh, it doesn't say that in the Bible. It just says, "He that believeth hath everlasting life." Not he that believeth by default can go to heaven. It just says everybody. I don't think you misunderstood math. I think he's right. Yeah, any, any believers can go. So, uh, and anybody. Okay, well, there he is. Are you serious? Right. Isaiah. Or whoever set this up, let's do another one. Let's one particular topic. Go ahead and ask four or five questions ahead of time, and let me look at them. Um, and yeah, I, I normally have just half-hour interviews. I had two other ones today. This is unusual to go an hour, and I appreciate the opportunity. But uh, so far, Matt, I don't think I agree with you on uh, what I've heard so far. But uh, if we can continue this another time, I'd, I'd be honored. Okay, I'd be honored too. But I'm going to have a request for you. Please okay. don't insult me or my God. I can back up what I'm saying from Scripture. And if well, you're you saying, the last hour insulting me and my intelligence, saying you don't understand the Scripture and you don't you have, you, that, that, that's not that, an issue. No, I said you don't understand theology. Okay, well, go back and listen to the hour. I think you'll find this a similar insult many times coming from you. No, so I apologize. No. Saying okay, you don't okay. understand biblical theology is not saying you're stupid. You don't even I, know what federal I, headship I is. I think the doctrine is lunacy that only some can be saved. Because okay. God, is, it's not up to man and his free will. Roman, yeah. I mean, it's not up to man's right. free will. Well, good. Let's, uh, you guys, the rest of it looks like there's 10 more people on here. They can all continue the discussion. I, I ran out of time for tonight, but. All right. Thank you. Good to meet you. And uh, well, um, come to Dinosaur Adventure Land. We'll give you a tour or give you a hammer if you want to work. We got a lot to build down here. <laughs> all right. God bless you, Ken. Thank bye you. bye. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.